Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Hey guys, back with day three of the GNC Power Trainer by Corey Gregory. Today we're going to be doing squats, high volume lunges, which means five minutes straight of lunges, tri and a tri set of leg curls, lower back extension, and the ab wheel. So if you've been following me along with this program, you should be on, uh, today should be Thursday, day, day three. Dallas was on Monday, then uh, bench press was on Tuesday, then you took a day off, and now we're back with squats today. And shoulders and arms will be tomorrow. However, today is squat day, so be mentally prepared for that. Today consists of six to eight reps, I mean sets, of 12 repetitions. Fancy, huh? Anyways, the, the, idea behind it, the idea behind this program is that the squat should pretty much kill your legs. You're going max effort right here, so we're going to be doing uh, mainly squats, and that's pretty much why this program doesn't call for very many exercises. However, I didn't go that heavy just because my back was still not feeling 100%. And also, I was planning on working out at my university today because Genesis Fitness does not have a leg extension, I mean leg curl or a back extension. So, I had to switch things up, but I'll talk about that more in a minute. And as you can see, I'm doing squats with no hands, just balancing all my traps because I am what you call a badass. Not really. It's not that impressive. It is like not very much weight at all i'm sorry i'm a little girl anyways 45 is the highest i went today just because like i said my back wasn't feeling it and i just really wanted to feel my legs working because like i said before, in my other videos my knee is i have an awful knee i have uh, i tore my acl so that is why i have to really warm it up so it does not uh you know hate me for life Anyways, next is the lunges. Like I said, I was pressed on time. So instead of doing five minutes straight, I just went ahead and supersetted it with a stiff legged deadlift. And that went pretty heavy. I think those are 40 pound kettle bells. So 80 pounds in total and just doing lunges in place. In another clip, I'll, I'll do it a little differently. I step backwards instead because uh, Nathan kind of gave me the tip that it's more natural to do it that way and then actually I, I did it and I liked it a lot better so and I did like a drop set I went heavy and then when I couldn't go anymore I just dropped the weight and did one kettlebell and then stiff legged deadlifts I really just wanted to feel the stretch in my hamstrings and right now this is I'm doing I'm doing this voiceover about an hour later an hour and a half later and um, yeah my legs really don't want to move it's like if I went to the toilet right now and sat down, it would probably take like five minutes just to stand up because it's that much in that much pain. Anyways, um, like I said, we didn't have any leg curls or back extension, so I did what I thought would work for both of those, my hamstrings and my lower back, and I did stiff legged deadlifts. And I thought that, you know, my lower back was kind of feeling it, but not as much as my hamstrings. So I'll probably go in Saturday and do some more legs with the um, leg press just so I can go a little heavier. And then I could do back extensions there. I might record, I might not, because you're not supposed to record in my in the rec center. So I might just have a sneak and be an American badass. Just kidding. Anyways, even though I couldn't do the leg curls and the back extension, and the full like just non-stop lunges and I didn't get to go very heavy I mean I'm just a girl I guess I don't know either way my legs are toast and I'm definitely feeling it so thanks for watching guys please subscribe follow me on add me on snapchat we can have some fun snapchats you know what I'm saying but um follow me on Instagram Twitter Facebook and I'll see you in the next video guys peace love y'all bye